Hey guys, Buffer Gaming back today and bringing another video. And today we'll be covering something a little bit different outside of our usual Call of Duty or maybe even Battlefield content. And that is going to be Insurgency Sandstorm. And this is actually a mod that is now available for the game that makes it more so in line with an actual tactical, more more in line with a tactical shooter than it already is and really real more realistic of a shooter. So this is called the ISMC mod, the Insurgency Sandstorm modding collaboration. And what this is, is basically a collaboration between the modding community and the developers of Insur Insurgency Sandstorm. Now, right now, this is available on PC, and I've played a little bit on stream here on Twitch, specifically a little bit here and there. And this is actually, this game should be coming to consoles at some point soon. It was supposed to launch, I believe, last summer in August or maybe even June for the current gen of consoles. And that was actually delayed due to COVID, things got set back, so... We should see this game still coming to console sometime in the near future, I would imagine. It seems like there's some news starting to twirl up about that, whether it's coming to uh, the current gen and the next gen. We're not quite sure yet. But you can see here, what this mod does is add m much more weapons than there already are to Insurgency Sandstorm. And here you'll see I'm building an AK-105 custom. So we're going to make really a, a, a really similar Alpha AK build to what Larry Vickers covered in his videos. Now, there is an actual Alpha AK in the base version of Insurgency Sandstorm, but that is actually the AK-104 custom you can see on the screen here above the 105 I'm building. So that's in 762 by 39. This version of the 105 is 55, or excuse me, 545 by 39, so we're building a more so actual Alpha AK. A lot of different uh, optics on this weapon. We're going to go with the standard holographic here however you have like delta points with the hammer sights things like that a lot of different uh dual magnifications that we see something similar like in obviously tarkov um you have a few of these in call of duty modern warfare but not as not nearly as much as we would like to see there's a lot of cobra with flips cobra optics with flip sights for russian optics mars sights a lot of different optics there we're going to go with in there you saw the alpha k has a b33 handguard on there as well which is really nice to see all zeneco attachments which is really what we want to see, really what I've been begging to see from a uh, AK in Modern Warfare for quite a long time. But again, a lot of different optics being holographic, a lot of different flip sights, um, under barrels. You can go with different ones. There's a Zeneco RK0 grip, which is what we're putting on this, al this Alpha AK, I'm going to call it, even though it's a 105. Um, we're also going to go with the base muzzle device on this, which I believe is just a, a flash, flash suppressor on this weapon. Going to go with a quad stack magazine, for the 545 by 39 and that's going to be again quad stack so 60 round and increasing the ammunition from 30 to 60. Going to do a PEC-15 with a laser combination so we got a nice tan PEC-15 on the top rail mount with a laser on the right hand side of the rail mount for the quad rail there on that B-33 handguard. You got a really nice looking Zeneco style AK-105. We're going to select hollow point ammunition. I think I'm running a, uh, a, a either a, a Daniel Defense or a UTG Combat Ops buttstock on this weapon to try and bring it more in line with what I've seen from Alpha AKs from the FSB units. Um, also, you can see here laser point shooting. We'll see here in the gameplay. If I have my laser on, I can do point shooting like we saw in Modern Warfare in the Realism version and the Night Modes was a, a nice uh, addition to that game. We're going to run the Alpha Spray and then operators training which is actually pretty cool to have on there as well just helps you with your stamina and uh, focus under fire but again you can do different things here as well you saw uh, different plate carriers it adds all this new realistic things or aspects to the game really and again jumping in game here you'll see this is just a, a really nice AK-105 really brings this game which is already a more realistic tactical shooter and really ups the ante Quite a bit more. You'll see the point shooting I'm, I'm running here. Again, this is a really good Alpha AK build for the AK-105 Custom. The exact same, really the exact same build is what I built it out on from Larry Vickers' Alpha AK video where he and it originally went to Russia and worked with the Alpha GRU FSB guys and was kind of modeled his version after what they were running. They were running, again, something very similar to what you'll see here in the gameplay. Really awesome mod. Again, it ups the realism aspect of the game. The enemy bots on the other team are much much smarter, more aggressive, uh, better shots. You'll see me die quite a few times here. And again, I'm still not a great PC player, but this is definitely a uh, really good practice for something to be playing like something like Tarkov or just any PC game in general. But it's specifically, uh, Sandstorm, this ISMC mod, is a lot of fun to be playing. Again, the weapon just looks so nice overall. They added not only 
uh, something like the AK-105 cost up with the AK-12, the AK-15's in there. There's things like the DSA-58 OSW, so a lot of weapons that if you follow me for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare weapon conversion content, there's a lot of weapons that I've covered and tried to convert uh, weapons in Modern Warfare to these weapons that are already in Insurgency Sandstorm ISMC, the, the modded version of this. So it's a lot of fun to play, a lot of really cool weapons in here. I'm going to probably do some showcasing for these uh, in some future videos. But again, here we're running my my baby, I'll call it the AK-105 Custom, or the Alpha AK. This is really exactly, you guys have probably heard me if you've been following me for Call of Duty content. Like I said, you've been hearing me complain about a modernized AK build in this game for almost a year now or more. So here it is in the Sandstorm. This is exactly what I would want to see in Modern Warfare. So a game that calls itself Modern Warfare and has an AK from 1950. Not very modern, but here we go in Surgency Sandstorm. Uh, this ISMC mod really including the AK-105 custom for the Alpha AK. Even at base, in the base version of the, the game, the vanilla version, they had the Alpha AK, which is the 104 version, just a different caliber. It's literally the exact same weapon, just chambered in 762 by 39 millimeter versus 545 by 39. But again, you can see this thing perform tons of fun to use. And again, I'm not a great PC player, but the point shooting just really brings in that realism aspect. This is exactly the type of uh, gameplay that I really loved about Modern Warfare and the realism mode and then the MVG maps. And uh, it kind of brings that all into uh, Insurgency Sandstorm here, which was ob obviously always a more realistic type game. Uh, very fast time to kill on this game, and this mod actually just ups everything uh, <laughs> tenfold, I would say. Again, you're dealing with pretty smart AI here. I'll, I'll get killed quite a bit, and again, like I said, I'm not a good player, but tons of fun to play. This is exactly the AK-105 that I would want to see in Modern Warfare. I would pay the developers money to include this weapon in Call of Duty. But let me know what you guys think down below. Are you guys on PC? Do you play in Search Sandstorm? Have you tried this mod? All you need to do is go to like the play local or even the the mod the modding uh, menu that's built into the game there, and uh, you can search ISMC and you'll get a bunch of different mods to download, or you can join servers and, and install them on the server side. That way, when you go ahead and join next time, everything's preloaded. There's a lot of ma different maps. I was playing on, um, I believe it was North Shark Canal or something from Battlefield Three back in the day was was uploaded to this game. So tons of fun to play. Had a really good time. Let me know down below what you guys think of this. Have you played this? Have you played Sandstorm at all? Are you going to wait and maybe get it when it does come to console at some point? Not sure how good it will look on the current gen of consoles. However, the graphics aren't um, anything to write home about. The graphics look really, really good for, I think, what we're looking for. The weapons and everything looks really great. However, it's not your AAA type uh, shooting type graphics like we're used to with maybe something like a Battlefield or a Call of Duty. But... I think it looks amazing, so I'm really excited to see what they can do with uh, the next-gen graphics. The, the weapon handling, the way your operator handles the weapons, the movement in this game is just so refreshing. Um, after after kind of being stuck playing Modern Warfare and Warzone for a long time, I do love that game. However, uh, I've been waiting for something more realistic. The tactical shooter-type genre is really what I'm into for Modern Combat. And again, this, the movement speed... Uh, the leaning axe aspect, you can't jump around a bunny hop, things like that. You really need to play smart, use your laser, use your light combos, things like that, just to think uh, about what you're doing is a ton of fun. So I had a lot of fun, fun playing this game. Definitely going to be covering some more weapons in the future. There's things like the HK417, different barrel lengths for the 416. Like I said, the DSA58 OSW, uh, the M110. There is a, I believe the SR25, where there's a different variant of the SR25 in the game. A lot of fun to use. There's a bunch of different AR-10s, MCX. You can add 300 black out to some of your weapons. Tons of fun to use. Let me know down below what you guys think. Have you played this? Are you going to get it on console? Uh, will you be installing it uh, or using the mod if you do have this already or have you tried it? Let me know down below what you guys think. And also, let me know if you like this kind of content. Like I said, I want to be covering um, some different weapons for this game because it is a ton of fun to play and the weapons look beautiful in this game. This was a collaboration, like I said, between the modding community and the actual developers of the game. And they came up with something just amazing here. This is really something that the core core uh, audience of Sandstorm kind of wanted. And the fact that the developers were able to work with the modding community just kind of speaks volumes to me. This is, this is amazing to see. It's great to see developers and the community working together to improve their game and really give the community something that they're looking for. Um, this is awesome. This is something that I wish was on present on console games. 
something like this with mods. And of course, we don't have that, which is one one of the benefits of PC is different mods. Um, this is really this is this is really I'm really impressed with this. I think this is a lot of fun. And like I said, the fact that the developers are willing to work side by side with the modding community to add uh, over 15 or 20 weapons here to this game, bunch of different attachments, different camouflages, different tactical equipment operators, things like that. It's just awesome. It's a lot of fun to play. Let me know down below what you guys think, what kind of weapons you want to see me cover in this. I'm definitely going to be doing a few more videos on this just because I do have a lot of fun playing this and this is right up the alley with the type of content we cover on this channel. So I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay. I did quite a lot of talking, let you guys enjoy the sound and everything here. I have a couple more good engagements here before the, the gameplay wraps up. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think of this, what kind of weapons you want to see covered in the future, and let me know what you think of this beautiful AK-105. Until next time, this is Buffner Gaming with Insurgency Sandstorm ISMC mod with the AK-105 or the Alpha AK. Until next time, Buffner Gaming. Out. We're in Alpha! We got Alpha! Take it up!